Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be going over the Alien Blaster, which is actually a pistol and this thing is actually pretty interesting and not bad at all actually. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the Alien Blaster that I'm going to be using. I luckily got an anti-armor, faster fire rate, uh, less action point cost, which is an amazing roll and um, I'm very happy to use it in this video for you. So that this is like one of the best rolls you can get. Um, I just want to say you could get the plan for this weapon during the Alien Invaders event. It has since passed, so I hope you did get the plan for it. If not, I will show you another way to get this weapon. But that's probably your best, you know, option. Hopefully you can just craft one. But if you can't, just come over here on the map, just to the left of the butterfly, as you can see. And you can find one in a safe that's broken in the toxic water right here. Pretty easy to find, actually. Just keep in mind that you might not find a level 50. So when I came over here, I actually found a level 20. Yeah, level 20. So just keep in mind before you go spending modules, just keep the an eye on the level of the gun. I just literally server hopped once and came back over here and I found myself a level 50. So it was pretty easy. I hope everyone else has as, has as good luck or better than I did. But uh, you should be able to find a level 50, no problem. Hopefully, like I said, you could just craft one. And another thing too, I'm going to link in the description. Um, a cool little quest that you can do for Commander de Gur or de Jure, I think her name is. And it's a pretty cool quest, and you get a pretty good gun. This is her right here. Um, you'll put down that console, and uh, she'll appear at your camp. But there is something you have to do to get her first, which we'll explain in the video that I'll link. And this is the gun that you can get from her quest. It's a pretty fun quest, and it's not a bad gun. You can definitely get a better one, but nonetheless, another way to get it. Okay, so like I said, it's best if you have the plan, and then you can just craft a bunch. Um, if not, you might have to just find a bunch and keep scrapping them in order to get all the mods for the weapon. That's the best way to do it. Um, you're not going to see me get any of the plans here because I already did this. I just did it for the sake of the video just to show you that this is the best way to get the mods. I didn't have any for it, and I just forgot to record it, and I did get all the plans after crafting like 20 of these. And then I was able to put whatever I wanted on it. Keeping in mind that there are four... Um, different receivers that you can get from the alien event which has recently made this gun a lot stronger not so much recently but more so than when it first came out so this is what you get for it you're gonna want to put the long barrel on it the sharpshooters grip um, even the scope and I would recommend the cryo mag um, the poison mag I found very good as well but the cryo mag definitely I think does the most damage But if you have the um, the poison mag, you're still, you know, doing pretty good. Now, this is a build I put together for using this weapon. I just put this together very quickly. I'm sure there's some better builds of vid or sorry, better videos of builds or even on Reddit that you could find to make for a pistol. But this build that I used did work very well for killing enemies. So if you just want to put together a quick build like I did, then this might work for you. And as you can see, this gun is powerful. It might be the most powerful pistol in the game, or even the best pistol in the game. Um, I may have overlooked this in an earlier video, but you can see I'm just like one-shotting Scorched. Like one-shotting them. No problem. <laughs> Very powerful gun. Um, a Scorch Beast. Just disintegrate it. I was like so blown away like how powerful this thing was. And here's a 100 glowing behemoth. And it just melts him as well. I had like so much fun with this gun. It's a real good one to use. And I just want to point out too that Demolition Expert does seem to make the Cryo Mag do a little bit more damage. I didn't notice too much. But I think there is a bit of a difference. I, I, I have mixed feelings about what I researched. But I would just put it on just in case. I show here twice me shooting a, a level 100 Super Mutant in the chest. Um, with Demolition and then without it. 
And you can kind of see that with demolition, it's doing a little bit more. So you can see it's like five or six shots to the chest. We're going to put on demolition. And we're at the same range. You know, and you can see it just, it, it, I feel like it's going down a little bit faster. So I would recommend having demolition on. And yeah, here we go, destroying a behemoth again. <laughs> the range actually isn't bad as you can see. But I just wanted to say too, with this gun, I just had a lot of fun using it. It was very easy to use, and it just pretty much destroyed regular mobs. Now, I wouldn't go try to fight Earl Solo with this weapon, but definitely a lot of fun and very powerful and very worth using. Um, thank you so much for watching the video, everybody. Again, let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and thank you so much for watching.